Yeah, hi friends. So today we are having Gaurang Atwale with us, and one of he is one of our course enroll student uh, of Get Applied course. So uh, we just want to know that how he was prepared for this examination, and what was his learning experience, and what was uh, like you know his ups and downs while preparing for the examination. So hi Gaurang, and can you please uh, like uh, give a brief introduction about yourself? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, hi Subharam. So yeah. hi all. I am Gaurang Atwale. and i have completed my btech in the field of computer science and engineering in from mu last year that is in 2021 and i am currently working as a software development engineer at a major investment bank and this was my second attempt of gate okay okay so may you know like uh, what was your rank in uh, last year gate yeah so last year i secured a rank of 346 okay good very good so again you take it like a challenge and prepare for yeah. so what was your learning experience with applied courses uh, gauran yeah so uh, this was my second attempt and uh, mm -hmm. i i am course enrolled student of gate applied from past two years mm -hmm. so this year i got my course in the month of october in october end okay yeah. and i must say that this is a very good course because everything is so well structured in it and okay. uh, it covers everything from each and every corner so that you don't miss on any concept so that was a very, very, uh, very good course and finally uh, all the video lectures are recorded so that you can watch at your own pace like yes. this was my second attempt so i uh, started with my weak subjects because i wanted to focus more on my weak subjects so that okay. i don't miss out on any so i i used to watch the videos at normal speed for my weak subjects and gradually i then started my relatively strong subjects and i started watching the videos on 2x speed because mm -hmm. there was time crunch and also i had started a bit late okay that okay. is in september mm -hmm. so that was a that was of that was very beneficial for me okay. okay and talking about the test series so be it the topic wise test subject wise test or the full length test those were amazing and i can say that uh, none of them none of those questions were overlapping everything was a new concept okay. and as and on when you go to solve the subject wise test or topic wise test you get to learn new concepts uh, apart from the video lecture right because yes. you can't uh, means even if if you know the concept from the video lectures but solving the problem is totally a different thing so yes. when you okay. try to yeah. solve the questions so you get to more, know more things and more techniques to solve the questions okay. so that was a good point and finally the best part of beta applied is the mentorship program yeah. so whenever i had any doubts any doubts or uh, and read out from my questions from the yes. faculties i just used to uh, make the tickets that we call okay. over here tickets mm -hmm. and i used to post it and the okay. mentors used to reply, reply back within 2 to 3 hours okay. yeah okay. so okay. that good. was a very good thing mm -hmm. and yeah i also loved uh, one more fact that uh, it's the aimp right yes. because the normal test that you give for uh, from gate applied course so only the applied uh, registered students give the exam but the all india mock test is free and yes. a huge amount of public uh, give the exams so you get to know what, where you are standing in okay, the exam okay yeah so that was a very good thing. okay okay good man good uh, it's a very inspirational like like you are working for uh, some, uh, some organization so and simultaneously appearing for the gate again so like how did you manage your time uh, while working for some organization uh, and with your preparations dora yeah so uh, when i started in september so i used to give two hours daily when okay. in week days because my mm -hmm. office was from monday to friday and on weekends i used to spend three to four hours initially and till december basically i followed this pattern till december and in the month of january i started putting in more hours, uh, about four to five on week days mm -hmm. and on in on weekends about six to seven hours and just before the gate exam i had taken a leave of two weeks to Full prepare and uh, revise all the subjects again. So this okay. was my yeah. So you said that you have appeared for many of the exams, including all India mark uh, mark examinations, right? So how you were performed there, and uh, like you know how you might done some silly mistakes also there. Like how you rectified your mistakes and how you overcome that situation. Yeah. So uh, as soon as we gave the test, I I always followed a pattern that as soon as you give the test, you analyze your mistakes. Because uh, for example, if you give Two to three exams and don't uh, analyze your mistakes, and you reach to a fourth exam, and then you just realize that oh shit, I have to uh, analyze three to four tests, and it would take a lot of time. So it's better to first of all analyze as soon as you give the test, 
So I used to do that thing. And uh, there are two types of mistakes that we can make. First is the silly mistake, and second one is the conceptual gap that you are having. So for silly mistakes, I used to uh, maintain one Google Docs in okay. which I used to uh, add that I did this silly mistake in this but this question and mm -hmm. like so I used to document it and I used to go through it so that I don't make silly mistakes because mm -hmm. silly mistakes <laughs> because you know the concept but you finally yes. do some silly mistake and you miss out on those marks and for conceptual gap questions uh, I again used to go to the course videos watch the concept and clear all my doubts and if I had many any doubts I used to uh, post it to the mentors they used to reply back Okay. And I uh, mm -hmm. and I used to get to uh, the question again, in okay. which uh, I had done the mistake. Yeah. Okay. Good. Very good. What about your revision strategy? Like you know, many people are asking us, like, sir, how to revise and when to revise. Yeah. So I completed my first iteration of syllabus in December end, and uh, my revision strategy was uh, I used to give uh, two days for one okay. subject. Mm -hmm. In my second revision, oh. uh, in my first revision, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and for general aptitude, as it is, uh, I okay. did not dedicate a complete day because I also used to get bored after doing general aptitude for the whole <laughs> okay, day. Okay. So I used to allocate like half an hour to forty five minutes every day, and okay. I used to uh, revise the formula because formula is the catch. That if you know the formula, you can quickly solve the general aptitude question. So that was my strategy, and every day I used to. Uh, Every two days, I used to revise once. Even so, like people will uh, ask about like you know uh, gate PYQs, sir. How many years I need to solve the gate PYQs, and what about your strategy about gate PYQs, Gaurang? Yeah, actually, I I solved all the PYQs. Okay. Right <laughs> from 1980s, I guess. Okay, okay. Yeah, good, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I solved for, for the first iteration, I solved all the PYQs. Okay. I solved the PYQs two times. So, so for mm -hmm. the second time, I uh, did PYQs for the last 10 years, that is from 2011 to 2020. <laughs> okay. okay, good, very good actually. So one last question, like if you are going to like uh, give some suggestions for the future aspirants, like you know, who are going to appear for the next year, like 23 gate examinations. So what kind of suggestions you might give it for them? Yeah, so first of all, if you are starting the preparation and you have taken a full course, so even if you get bored or uh, you get something, so you should stick to that course and don't okay. get away because if you uh, do one course uh, for the first time and you go on to the second course, you don't know if you miss out on any concept. But if you follow the same course, you make sure that you don't miss out on any, any concept. And finally, uh, one tip that uh, if when you're doing your final revision, so I'll suggest that most of most of you uh, prepare a formula book, right, in which you write the short notes. Yes. So, but I suggest that uh, in the final revision, we should go from the long notes because okay. the concepts are written in the long notes and not in the short notes. Because there, it may happen that in the exam, uh, you you remember the formula, but the question was a bit twisted, and that formula won't apply. So, yes. concepts would be the thing that would uh, help 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 you out there. Okay. Yeah, good, good for uh, so any suggestions for great applied team actually. From your side, yeah, actually, I have two suggestions. So, first, first is that uh, can we have uh, we can have uh, one common thread or one common uh, website on which uh, students will post the questions, okay, and the mentors or other students will reply to it. Okay, because okay. In the current mm -hmm. world, students are posting the questions and mentors are replying, but yes. these questions are not visible to the other students. Yes, in the ticketing system, we had. Yeah. Because uh, if it is available, if it is a common thread, then one student asks the question. And if other student is not even knowing the concept, then it will be beneficial for him. He will get to know more concepts or different things. Yeah, definitely. So so, that's right. Yeah, we have the system of comments, right? Where we can see like, you know, what uh, other students are asking yeah. like, and what kind Correct. of replies. And e even like, you know, uh, students will also like, you know, might uh, raise their query on the thread actually. So we'll try to implement the yeah. same with the ticketing system also. Thank you, Gaurang. Thanks for joining the meeting. Okay. Yeah.